Okay, my name's Fiona and I'm an undergraduate at U of T St. George. I'm studying life sciences right now um, and as a first year. Um, next year I'm planning to go into a specialist in um, health and disease, human biology, and a major in anthropology. And the reason I'm doing this is because if I want to get into medical anthropology, it will mean that I need some background in um, biology and healthcare, which is really incorporated into health and disease. There is a lot of choices, which is why I've taken this pathway, because it keeps your options open because you change a lot in this stage of life. As a first year, you're still going through adolescence and you're still making decisions that determine who you are. And if you make one wrong decision, you don't want your whole future to be down the drain, right? So I chose this field because there's a lot of possibilities. There's still a possibility that I could go to med school, um, which is graduate school after three or four years of study undergraduate. Um, so that would be healthcare and that is also related to anthropology because you could be um, a medical historian or a clinical physician. Um, I think in North America the life science field is really enriched and it's really promoted because um, doctors here, dentists, and everyone in the healthcare system, they're really respected for what they do and it's a really kind of good job in terms of ethics and morals and like doing good for the community justice wise and so a lot of people want to pursue that because they want to do something good with their lives to help other people. Well I'd say that from what I've learned in first year the big concept that I've learned in anthropology is the fact that it's a holistic like total view of the subject. It draws from all the disciplinary backgrounds and approaches and I think my advice to you or anyone else who's interested in anthropology would be to um, look at the big picture and ask as many questions as possible. You have to look at all the possibilities which is why I find the field so interesting and it's able to progress because with every question there are so many answers and um, it's important to ask the right questions and be able to critically think of the questions and the answers. Well, I'd say I'm quite the dreamer. <laughs> so I have a lot of dreams to go out there and um, help others actually. So my major goal is just to help others with my own knowledge and spread my knowledge to people who love learning just as much as me. Um, one of my, I guess, philosophies on life is to not have too many expectations except of yourself. And so I have never been to China per se. I've been to Hong Kong and Taiwan because I have a few relatives there. But um, China, the mainland, no, I have not been. My seminar topic is um, Introduction to Anthropology and Such Human Humanities Studies. Um, it was originally animality, the social anthropology of humans and animals, but I've decided to make it more, um, a little more general and so that it'll grab more interest. So it'll have things drawing from psychology and anthropology, such as like obviously the question of what it is to be human as well as drawing things from psychology, like what makes us human? Like is it language or is it our consciousness? And a lot of things there I find interesting and can be really applied to high school students going into university because there's a lot of things on memory and learning. And once you learn those things, you can definitely improve your methods of learning and therefore more efficiently study for tests and write them more efficiently and therefore get better marks. So I find that really interesting and I hope to tie that in with um, my interest in anthropology and present that to the delegates of 2011. <laughs>Okay, so in anthropology, there's so many opportunities in every way. Um, there's so many hot girls, you know, and there a lot of them are available. So you, you gotta just go for it, just ask them. 
Thanks for watching Omelette Videos. I'm Fiona. I'm studying life sciences. Do you want to know what others are thinking? Well, come to the 2011 UTXL conference and find out.